Sometimes you can get very tired from circuits published in radio books, electronic books, etc. This is for instance a schematic that pretends to be a crystal oscillator made with the popular old 1970s 7400 chip. And according to this book it had to work um, as a TTL oscillator um, and the output was suitable to drive a TTL IC chip. The output is a square wave that is suitable to drive other TTL ICs. I built this circuit and it is more or less a disaster. Here is how you can solder the whole thing together. And here on the breadboard with a crystal now at the moment from 1.8 MHz. But the waveform is a disaster. This is not suitable to drive a TTL chip. There's an extreme ringing in the crystal, all kinds of sub resonances. So it's a very bad waveform. So sometimes I can get a little bit angry about it, but anyway, it's my hobby. I do it only for fun. So let's get back to the circuit. And I uh, want to name this circuit a crystal tester. Going from 1.8 MHz up to 25 MHz. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, of course you can ask many questions. Did you decouple the, the power supply? Yes, I did. Here. Decoupling coil. Did you test here other capacitors, say from 100 nanofarad? Yes, I did. The same bad waveform. Did you uh, omit here the, the series capacitor? Yes, I did. The same bad waveform. Did you here make a an output with a fixed output resistance? Yes, I did. The same waveform. So I did a lot of experiments this evening and the only thing that I can tell about this beautiful circuit here in this beautiful radio amateur book is that you can use it as a crystal tester. That's all. Connect your uh, scope and your counter to the output and you can read crystals between 1.8 and 25 MHz. Don't bother about the waveform.